All right, so uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising weekly business and career tab reading, February 10th to uh, February 16, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website, and as well a link to your other video of the week, which stands as a love and relationship. So that being said, moving to the first card of in term of your business and career week, and we do have quite of a starter here, Page of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which represents the energies that are going to feed up the uh, situation that is to be the Four of Cups. Furthermore, what we do have, it is the challenges that you will need to overcome here, that is to be the Six of Swords. Afterwards, it is the gifts and the blessings, oh my God, that you can enjoy here, that is to be the judgment card. Then it is what kind of an impression, or oh, I could have not expect anything else here, apart from probably the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. So we do have the Knight of Swords into that position, the impression that you are going to leave into the people around, co-workers, um, boss, uh, supervisor, etc. That is to be the Knight of Swords. And the last one, it is the guidance that Tara is offering to you. And uh, again, oh my God, it's the is the King of Wands, right? So, uh, Virgo, it's um, I would say it that way that it is a quite typical situation when someone really wants to shine out, okay, and really wants to prove or rather like shine with their capabilities no different than for example s signing yourself for say um, a house kitchen or any kind of a reality tv and you want to show that you are a, a, a classes above those or above other uh, other competitors of yours okay so we do have uh, those uh, two cards here as a energy and a topic of the situation. And what the energies, first of all, are telling here is that this week, it is the week where you are going to find a bit of discontent of this, not the situation, but the, the whole stage of the projects that you're working over, for example, or the, the situation of the business that you're taking part of as well, or the situation of your private business in case you're running such, um, or of your situation of being jobless, okay? And instead of being, of being you know, kind of like restricted or saying satisfied from your current stage, you would simply kind of start thinking about, well, what I can do to go for more. Now with the Four of Cups here, going for more, it kind of takes a lot. Uh, because it will require from you to put your intellectual strength in front of everything else. Because with the energies of the Four of Cups, there are opportunities around, but they are a bit, um, how can I say it, dimmed from the current situation. It is like they are not kind of like presented straight away or out loud. It's like, just to give you an example, it's like your boss has a, a, a project on their desk, but they have not really spoke out loud for it. They have just only give you the guess about it and nothing else. And so it's kind of like you have to be able to read uh, in between the rows. I don't know how to say it, in between the lines, okay? with the four of cups but what is certain here it is that those energies that you are to experience in term of career throughout this week are energies of wasting or or not wasting excuse me uh waning so to speak where you are just consuming the last benefits or the last fruits of your previous labor now you have to start thinking of how you can grow more into this company and if you cannot grow in this company to move into another company if you can't grow with that service you are providing into your business well maybe it's time for you to start thinking over another service and that will force you into the situation itself which is the very topic page of pentacles finding something that really what's your while right that that's the whole thing and now 
that thing will require, however, this endeavor that works your while, uh, will require a lot of dedication and a lot of devotion. And you need to be emotionally connected to it as well, meaning that you got to like what you are doing. Otherwise, you're not going to do it with passion. You're not going to do it with content. And therefore, it's not going to worth your while at all. But uh, whatever challenges you face throughout the week in terms of business and career, you're going to face them with a lot of a, uh, uh, exhilaration, so to speak. It is like that is that is exactly what you needed. The fresh wind in there, all right? That it is to uh, to scatter out the mist, the poisoning mists of uh, of the boredom that you may be experiencing and lack of movement whatsoever. So we are going to the next one, which is the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That is the challenge of the Six of Swords. And we do have couple of challenges that they may apply both of them or either of them all right so the first challenge that you need to face is to gather up force meaning to convince people in that your a goal or your idea is the right idea and, and these people need to follow you as your co-workers you know or your employees that you do have into your um into your business or in generally what you have as a solution it is actually the salvation of uh, the situation the other thing that you are to face as a challenge here is the very first steps now six of swords especially when we're talking about career it is about these very first very obscure uh, actions and steps that one needs to take in order to take off in general. You know, no different than when you're trying to establish your own business and you don't know how it's going to go, at least at the very start. You are just, you know, you just have the capital to start it. But if uh, orders doesn't come in, you're kind of doomed. So it's kind of like such threshold that you're going to sit, that you're not going to know what your actions are going to lead into. But with the Six of Swords, in order to overcome that um, that state it is to accept that no action is worse than any than any action at all and if you think about it carefully here it's kind of true say you are working the same job for say 12 years all right and no movement whatsoever what could have been worse than sitting if you are dissatisfied though all right it's because the four of cups points to dissatisfaction discontent you hate waking up every day doing the same job whatsoever so what what action could have been worse than waking up doing the same job you hate and coming back home exhausted not just only physically but emotionally all right so it's simply how it stands you need to kind of like accept that anything you do is going to provoke a better circumstances than you know doing nothing about it now the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy here i said oh my god because it's the judgment and uh these energies which are forming once again of overconsumption and uh the the end of the line for the fruits uh, of your previous labor and now that you need to start thinking of how to grow even more now whatever you came up with as a thought of how to grow more either changing your job providing new service into your business taking a different approach into your project you know siding with different people uh taking a different uh assignment and so on and so forth that is your thing climbing up the top all right that is your thing that is going to make you go to the summit or you can take it that way up until now probably you have been baffled how to how to grow career wise all right probably you couldn't see a way through well now you are going to with the judgment card because the judgment is a gift and blessing um for you at least not for everybody around you but for you is going to make every piece of the puzzle that you are so much struggling to to fit these pieces are going to fit together on their own accord and the very least you are going to know what the big picture is and you are going to know how to act but the judgment is is kind of like characterized or um, it has that thread that always gives you an option to grow always gives you an option to move forward it's like wobbling in between two ways neither of them or in between two options neither of them really suits you well and suddenly out of nowhere the third one appears that it is exactly what you have needed to grow career-wise next one 
it is uh oh my god i have an eyelash in my uh, in my eye mm, i'm sorry guys okay so a uh, next one it is what kind of an impression you're gonna leave into the people into your supervisor into your boss into your co-workers well first of all what you're gonna come up with as in an idea here how to grow and sprawl your business for example or how to approach certain project people are gonna find it remarkable because they're gonna see how strong intellectually you are how wise you are how smart you are if you will and they are going to not just only acknowledge that but respect it as well not to mention also that uh, people are going to see in you someone who um always uh, how can i say it always collects their uh, their decision making and their action making in such a way that inflicts minimal damage if any and kind of like let's say that you are doing whatever you can to make the collateral damage as minimum as possible and that makes you into your career to look like a very resourceful person and that is something that you need to cash in for throughout uh, for throughout this week uh, to me it does speak that if there is a something cooking a very big project that is uh, and your boss doesn't kind of like um, decided whom to give it to well you have to raise your voice around it because you are going to be found once again as a resourceful person and if you are not on the lead of it at least you are to be in the team of it but once again if you don't raise your voice about it probably it's going to be given to someone else without you even noticing it and the last one it is the guidance here that Taro is offering and that is the um the king of wands okay so it kind of has a mixed meaning here uh, as guidance wise it serves a bit as a warning because uh this uh this new opportunity it's not even a new opportunity but it is like this opening i would say it uh it's like fire and whomever plays with fire it kind of has a chance to get burned so don't get ahead of yourself that's one of the warnings here but the other warning is that you do have the remarkable opportunity throughout this week to transform your ambition into a actions okay to start acting on your ambition and as guidance the card also points that you need to keep up the um uh, positive attitude amongst your colleagues as well which has a lot to do with the six of uh, swords if we take one of the meanings where you have to convince everybody into your righteousness okay that your way is actually the right way and that can be very well achieved as you are presenting yourself as a leader and not as a boss because the the boss says uh go ahead or kind of like charge the leader says follow me all right so you have to be the one who says follow me guys because this this and this and prove them that you know what you are doing and give them an example okay instead of demanding and that is especially if you are on a charge of your own business so that being said virgo that was your business and career tower reading february 10 to february 16 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, if you are interested into a personal reading with me once again you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website and as well a link to your other video which is focused on relationship and love and uh, hopefully we're gonna see each other around until then bye